Okay, so ASP here. Unfortunately, my memory card for my camera got filled up and was not able to get the entire story with Stan's rifle. So, can you repeat that story again? Sure thing. Uh, when I was in college, the information on Polish rifles was very, very limited. And basically the book said, yeah, Poles made long rifles, called 98 A's, uh, go see Gewehr 98. That was the end of it. Well, one of my fraternity brothers went to a gun store and he found what's called a WZ 98 A made by Radom. And the bolt had a nice Polish eagle on it and the serial number was only 10, 10 numbers off from the receiver. And I was like, oh my God, you know, this is what they look like. And at that time, in the, in the value books, they would put down Gewehr 98, $40, Polish model, $10 less, 10% less, sorry, 10% less. So he got it for $35 or something, and I thought it was really nice. And uh, I went into the Army, when I got out, he had already sold it, traded, and I said, I gotta find me one of those. Well, 25 years later, I'm at a gun show at Fort Lee, and a man brought in a rifle he had just bought at auction. Perfect, mint condition, matching numbers, untouched, everything, beautiful. But he had just bought it, so at least I knew they existed, and I would try to find one. <laughs> Ten years later, I go to a gun shop. They've got one, but it's got a 98K bolt. It's got German parts on it, and obviously it had been reworked by the Germans. And I think the price was $1,700, and I was like, eh, I think I'll have to wait. Then about five years later, I run into a Polish collector, and he brings me two Polish rifles with nicks in the stock and some other you know, damage to it, but he goes, I'll sell them to you cheap, you know. Uh, I think it was $1,200, and I said, great. Then the next week he calls me up and he goes, sorry, my son-in-law wanted them. <laughs> oh, man. Five years later, um, at a gun show, and I see the guy who had the mint one, and I'm talking to him, and he goes, you know what, I'm 86 years old, i got to start moving stuff. Are you really interested in that rifle? I said, yes, maybe I'll bring it. Well, for the next two years, he, whenever he showed up, he didn't bring it. And then six months ago, he didn't show up walking around and all of a sudden I find this rifle and here it is my bucket list rifle the one I want WZ 98 serial number 04258 FB Radom 1936 the bolt doesn't match that's understandable and the guy goes uh, 1400 and I go what's the best you can do and he goes 1300 and we got to go for a next check and a transfer and I said fine because I've been pricing these and uh, Polish Mauser long rifles like this are going anywhere from $2,500 to $4,000 now. Because what's happened is all us Polish guys who have extra money in our pockets and want to have part of our heritage are driving up the price, the law of supply and demand. And I am just so happy. <laughs> finally, at age 71 and a half, I finally got the rifle I saw when I was 19 or 20 years old. It's just taken me all these years to finally get a Polish WZ-98A made by the Radom factory, and I am just pleased as can be. Very good. Any, uh, you said there's markings on them. Yeah. You, uh, you can see here the FB Radom 1936, and on the side rail, the WZ-98A and the serial number. And you can see the, you can see it there, the wood dowel. That's, the, that's one of the signs of a Polish rifle. They used a dark wood reinforcing dowel behind the uh, magazine. It's one of the indicators, because the wood they use is, is, is beech, it's not walnut. And this reinforces it. All right. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and consider becoming a Patreon member for the ASP. Please check out the ASP Patreon page.